In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to power wash or factory reset a Chromebook. This is not something you'll need to do very often, but if you ever want to sell your computer or give it to someone, it's a good idea to factory reset it so that it clears all your stuff off it and removes all your files and accounts and everything so that it's just like a brand new computer. Or if your computer isn't running very well, or it has some strange kind of issue, a factory reset can often fix that. So sometimes you might want to factory reset it and then restore all of your stuff back onto it. Factory resetting is the general term for doing this to any computer, but on a Chromebook, a factory reset is actually called power washing. So you might hear to me say factory reset or power wash in this video, but it really just means the same thing. It means completely removing all of your stuff from it and returning, this, returning the software to its factory state so that it's just like a brand new device. But be aware, when you do this, everything on your Chromebook will be deleted and there will be no way you can get it back. So before you power wash your Chromebook, it's very important to make sure everything is backed up correctly first. That way, you won't lose any of your data. Timmy has a separate video showing you all the different things you need to do to make sure everything is backed up on your Chromebook before you power wash it. So if you haven't already, pause this video and go and watch that one first to make sure everything is backed up correctly. But once you've backed up everything and you're ready to go ahead and power wash it, this is actually the easiest part. All you need to do is open up the settings app. So we'll click on the app launcher button here and scroll down until we find the settings app and click on the settings app to open it. And then in the settings app, you'll need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on advanced here and then keep scrolling down until you get to the bottom again. And now the very bottom option here will be power wash. And next to where it says power wash, there'll be a reset button. So all you need to do is click reset and then it'll pop up with this message saying a restart is required before you reset it. So you basically have to just turn your Chromebook off and on again before you can reset it. So we'll go ahead and click restart here. And now the Chromebook will basically just turn off and then turn back on again, like when you restart it to do an update or when you just turn it off because you want to turn it off and then you turn it back on again later. But this time, when it comes back on, instead of seeing the normal login screen, it will bring up this message that says reset this Chromebook. And it warns you that when you reset it and power wash it, all the data on it of all the users will be removed. But if you followed the previous video and made sure everything's backed up, you won't have to worry about that. That'll be fine. So all you need to do is go ahead and click power wash and it'll bring up another warning message just to make sure because once you do this, there's no turning back. You can't possibly restore your data if it wasn't backed up. But as long as you've watched the previous video, you'll be good to go. So you can go ahead and click continue. And now your Chromebook will begin to power wash. So it will turn off the screen now and then the screen comes back on. And now it will say power wash in progress. And you don't really know how long this is going to take because it depends on how much stuff you had on your Chromebook and how fast your Chromebook is. But you just need to wait for it to finish this. It really shouldn't take more than a few minutes or so. And it looks like Timmy's Chromebook is almost done. So now it's coming back on. And once it comes back on, it should be completely power washed and factory reset. So this screen it comes up with here saying welcome to your Chromebook is exactly the same as you would see if you bought a brand new Chromebook and turned it on for the first time. 
So, if you're power washing your Chromebook because you're selling it or you're giving it away to someone else, you're basically done. You can now give it to the new owner like this and they can turn it on and sign in with their account and start setting everything up the way they want, installing their own apps and everything, because none of your stuff will be on there anymore. But if you're power washing your Chromebook to fix a problem you had or something like that, you'll probably want to set it all back up with your account and restore all of the stuff we backed up in the previous video. So if you want to do that, or you want to see how to restore all of your stuff on a new Chromebook, be sure to watch the next video in the series by clicking right here.